Demonstrations in the Guatemalan capital. The protests are against a move to suspend presidential candidate Bernardo Arevalo of the Progressive Semilla Party, ahead of a contentious runoff election scheduled for August 20th. According to a prosecutor from Guatemala's Attorney General's office, the Semilla Party is under investigation for alleged corruption. At the request of the Special Prosecutor's Office, the Seventh Criminal Court ordered the suspension of the legal status of the political party Semilla Movement. But then the country's Supreme Electoral Court stepped in, announcing there was no order made to officially suspend Arevalo. Instead, the Electoral Court certified the results of the June 25th general election, effectively overruling the order from the Attorney General. The runoff election will take place on Sunday, August 20, 2023, with the participation of National Unity of Hope, with Sandra Julieta Torres Casanova as presidential candidate and Romeo Estuardo Guerra running for vice president, as well as the Semilla Movement, with Cesar Bernardo Arevalo as presidential candidate and Karin Larisa Carrera Aguilar running for vice president. For his part, Bernardo Arevalo has called the allegations against his party baseless and politically motivated. Arevalo has proven to be a surprisingly popular candidate throughout the campaign. Standing on an anti-corruption platform, he believes he's being targeted by a corrupt government desperate to remain in power. We are using all the legal tools of what is left of our democracy in Guatemala. There is a lot at stake. On Thursday, tensions rose once more after police raided the offices of the Supreme Electoral Court, prompting concerns from international observers. And in yet another twist, Sandra Torres, presidential candidate from the UNE party, announced a temporary pause to her campaign in solidarity with her opponent, Bernardo Arevalo, adding that her campaign did not wish to take advantage of the confusion surrounding the elections. As uncertainty looms ahead of the August 20th runoff election, many worry over the threat of a brewing political crisis, which could put into question the future of Guatemalan democracy. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera.